Y'all, the streets are saying that Pimp C allegedly had footage of him and Beyonce getting busy. And also, they're saying that the tape is way better than the Kim Kardashian tape. Let's talk about it. Alright, begin. Pimpin' Ken, whose real name is Ken Ivey, was born in 1964 in Chicago. By the age of 16, he had the cars, the clothes, the women, and his notoriety in the streets of Milwaukee and Chicago was well known. And in 1998, Pimpin' Ken was approached by HBO to be a consultant on their upcoming project at the time called Pimps Up and Holds Down. And so the project went on to make Pimpin' Ken a celebrity within his own right. He went on to do projects with Little John, Jermaine Dupri, UGK, and most notably, 50 Cent. Well, Pippa Ken say, don't down him, crown him. Preach! Preach! And so Pimp and Ken sat down and did an interview with a podcast called It's a Unique Hustle Boss Talk 101. And I will leave the link in the description box to their channel so you guys can check them out in its totality. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to their channel. And so basically Pimp and Ken has some interesting things to say about, you know, Pimp C allegedly, right? Having footage of Beyonce and him being intimate, right? Now, I want to go ahead and say this, right? Pimpin' Ken, nor the host of Boss Talk 101, actually said Beyonce's name. I'm actually saying Beyonce's name because, in my estimation, it's pretty clear who Pimpin' Ken was referring to. And so, what I'm going to do right here is play the clip for you all, and then I'll be right back. Hey, yeah, with him. Yeah. But, but see, but see what, what, what Pimp told me, the only thing I know about Pimp said, Ken, I don't who. As long as they taking care of my family, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what Pimp would always say to me. You know what I'm saying? So me having a lot of entails, like if I was if I was to tell the truth, yeah. You know, like a lot of people don't know, man. You know, I ain't gonna say who it is, but it's a real famous rapper and it's a real famous R and B chick. Okay. Yeah. Pimp had a kit. He had a recording of them. I think he died with it, but he could he could have made millions of dollars. And, and some of the people that's higher up in rap, if they would have seen that tape, you know what I'm saying? Me, you think that Kim Kardashian was something? Yeah, this would have blew it out the man, wall. Man, this, 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 I just, I'm going to do, I'm, for, use your imagination, the biggest R&B chick in the game. I already know who it is. And one of the biggest rappers, you know what I'm saying, that made the most money in the game. And they wasn't supposed to be together. Or, or they were together and nobody knew it. They still together now. Are they still together now? <laughs> Wow, <laughs> dang, I know who that is. <laughs> God, no, no, he he had, we he ain't gotta tape. go no further. He had the tape. Man, listen, I tried to get that tape. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gotta go no further. Hey, them oh. Hey, I'd have got me some armed guards for that kind of money, man. That was a nice tape. Why? <laughs> you seen it? You I'm know a, he did. I'm a right hand man, man. I'm telling you, man. Listen, you man. Seen it. Listen, man. The biggest chick in the game. You know what I'm saying, me? And, you know, one of the, you know, dudes that was really getting it at one time. You know what I'm saying? Me? So, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, and, you know, Pimp, you know, I mean, Pimp, Pimp, you know, he, he was around a lot of shit. A lot of people, you know, before they became famous, they did a lot of dumb shit. You know, yeah. there's a lot of artists, you know, female artists do dumb shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me? To come, to get up. And, you know, it's just, you know. What a human. All right, so you guys heard that, and in my estimation, this is very interesting information because Pimp C was a man of honor, right? This brother stood on his word. He said what he had to say. I could remember back in 2007 when he called Atlanta out and talked about the uh, rappers there that were on the down low. What I meant. There it is. There it is, Pimp. Now, now, guess what? Now, let me say this, and I want it to be clear. I'm not apologizing. But what I said, I'm clarifying what I meant by what I said. Correct. Okay. We all know in now the South, we got to start acting like it's a South. And we got to start having some pride like it's a South. And let me say this, and y'all might not like this, because a lot of people don't like stuff. But ATL is considered to be the gay capital of the world right now. 
<laughs> and y'all got clubs over there with boys standing in the parking lot kissing on the mouth. And you know, if you're gay and you're out of the closet, that's cool because everybody got their preference. But man, it's time to start cleaning up our own neighborhood because a dude from Texas shouldn't have to get on in no magazine to make you clean up your neighborhood. So if I really wanted to diss Atlanta, it was a bunch of things I could have said about a bunch of people and I could have really, really dissed and hurt some feelings. Now, don't you know that? Yes, sir. Oh, yep. I know who the gay rappers is. I know who let them models stick them deals. And I know who did what, where, when, and why. Wow. So Do now, you feel like expressing that right now? Yeah, go ahead, no. say this again. <laughs> if you feel like saying it, go ahead. Say this again. I'm proud of all the rappers in the South. I'm proud of everybody sending records in Atlanta. But everybody ain't my friend, and I don't like all y'all records. All right, so you guys heard that. And like I said, that was a recording from 2007 when Pimp C felt the need to call in to 107.9, which is a radio station in Atlanta, to address some things that he said in the magazine regarding Atlanta and the hip hop scene there. And so this is the thing. What's crazy is that same year on December the 4th, Pimp C ended up passing away. Now, the reports state that Pimp C passed away from drinking too much lean. And they also said that he had a pre-existing condition with sleep apnea. But a lot of people feel, including myself, that somebody got to Pimp C. They needed to shut him up. They needed to shut him down because Pimp C knew too much information. Now, as far as Pimp C having this footage of him and Beyonce being intimate, we will never know because that footage is long gone. That brother passed away. We don't know where he put it. You know, just because Pimp and Ken say he saw it doesn't mean that that's factual. The interesting revelation of this all is if Bun B, who was Pimp C's best friend and teammate in the hip hop industry, if he were to come out and say, hey, there is some truth and validity to a tape with Pimp C and Beyonce on it, then I would believe it. I would really believe it because if, you know, Pimp and Ken saw it, I'm pretty sure that Bun B saw it too, being the fact that Bun B and Pimp C were tight. Now, Pimp C and Bun B have their issues, but that's for another video. But at the end of the day, I don't expect Bun B to come out and talk about this situation. I believe that he's going to remain loyal to Pimp C. And I believe that Bun B is going to remain loyal to Beyonce. Listen, they're all from that Houston area. I believe that Pimp C and Bun B are from outside of Houston. I believe it's Port Arthur, Texas. So they were running in the same circles. You know, they've been in the same vicinity and things of that nature. And again, it's not above the realm of possibility that Beyonce and Pimp C did have an intimate encounter. But is there footage of it? That's the main question. But anyway, I'm going to let this go right here. I want you guys to drop down and let me know what you think about this whole entire situation. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.